Uh, the last thing I want to talk to you about and uh, it is uh, uh, folks that wear ghillie suits. And the reason I'm doing that, not just because I do that when I'm, let's say, seriously deer hunting, but I have a lot of customers that hunt in ghillie suits. And I have a lot of customers that want to, but they just can't kind of figure them out because they're bulky, they're hot, they're this, they're that. Now, I don't hold all the knowledge on ghillie suits, but I'm just going to show you what I do. And from experience in the past, um, I can tell you that what I do works for me. Um, but my ghillie suit is what they call, uh, well, it was originally uh, a long coat. Um, it had sleeves. Uh, it had burlap all over it. Um, what I did to this particular ghillie suit is I cut the sleeves completely off. And when I hunt like that, I'll make sure that I have reasonable camo on my arms, uh, maybe a net in hot weather like it is now. If y'all notice I'm sweating, it's because I'm sweating profusely in South Georgia. Uh, what I do, I, I cut the sleeves off completely and I also uh, cut all the burlap out. I leave the little knot of burlap where it's sewed to the, to the mesh material, but I cut the burlap out. It's, it's hot and it's heavy. And when this thing comes in the mail, it's in a big box. So it, it's tough on But now it's just what I call kind of a cape. Okay, so uh, what you can do uh, let me say this too before I forget. The, I like ghillie suits with long strands. Uh, excuse me, I've got a briar in there. Uh, with the long strands, they dangle down, and in my opinion, that helps tremendously in breaking up your outline uh, versus maybe some other types of uh, ghillie suits. Okay, so anyway... Uh, this uh, ghillie suit has a zip in front and just zips right up. The one other thing I do after I cut the sleeves off, I cut down to the waist. It's, it's got a rope waist band that you can tighten up. I cut that down on both sides. And I'll show you in a minute, but when you're sitting, you can literally just hide your arms up under it. And when I turkey hunt, the little bit that I do, uh, I can actually work a box call uh, up under the ghillie suit, okay? Now, one of the important things that I do is, if you'll notice, I split the rear of the ghillie suit all the way up to the waistband. And I'm gonna show you why I do that. Uh, when I sit down, I kind of look like a, a woman sitting down. I kind of gather up my, my dress here, my cape, and we sit down, and then I just fluff it out like so, okay, like I want it. And with that split in back, I'm not sitting on my ghillie suit, but I make sure that this is fluffed out and goes back towards the tree and what this does it helps make you a part of what you're sitting next to or by or whatever it makes you become a part of the landscape and I'll say again in my experience it has helped me tremendously to hide uh, my human form uh, I've got, uh, uh, I make my own, some of my own ghillie hats. Uh, this was just a military, military style hat. I took a bunch of the materials from the sleeve that I cut off. And this is, I wanted this kind of hat because I wanted a brim. Uh, so uh, this is just one style of, of, of ghillie hat. And uh, you gotta do a little trimming so you can see. And then I have another ghillie hat that 
was the ghillie hat that came with this suit. But it was about this big around, it looked like a sombrero, and the bill fell completely over your eyes. So I cut it all up, and it's a softer type of hat. And the reason I have this one is when it's cold and I'm wearing a sock hat. It fits over my sock hat very well. And I have a little adjustment strap back here on the back that uh, can get it, you know, any size that I need it to be. So uh, if, you're, if you're into this, uh, uh, if you're uh, serious about your, your hunting uh, and want to go the, the route of a ghillie suit, uh, if if you'll just remember these few notes, and uh, I think that you will uh, find it very productive for yourself, and uh, I think you'll enjoy it. And I would like to thank y'all for listening to all of this, and uh, I certainly appreciate it, and thank you again for your business. And I know this was kind of a long video. We didn't intend it to be. But uh, I think it was interesting, and uh, I had fun doing it, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, we'll see you on the trail one day. Thank you.